didn't quite work the way I, I got to redo it again. <laughs> I just wanted to know the seat that you're sitting on. <laughs> Anything in your desk uh, that I should know about? <laughs> now, for those that are sheriffs, right, and your mother decides what you do in life, I didn't have a problem separating myself from my parents. <laughs> I didn't. You know, anytime your parents bribe public officials so that your rights are deprived, you immediately see the reasoning why they need to be arrested. And for every one of you in office that said, well, we do not have to protect the civil rights of parents or children, yeah, you're going to get sued and spend some time in, in jail or prison. Yeah. <laughs> now, I have been to jail numerous times. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was arrested in May of 2012, yes, approximately four days after my wife filed for dissolution of marriage, yes, for the allegation of violating a protection order, yes, where she wasn't a resident of the state, I wasn't either, mm -hmm. I was served on Guam, and then there was a personal recognizance, no contact order, yes, that had been issued at the time. Now, um, not knowing what I know now, okay, it does not make it better that I was on trial for violating, yes, the fraudulent protection order, and then you reissued another one a week after she issued a, <laughs> after you issued a dissolution of marriage. <laughs> for every idiot judge that sits there right now, you cannot have more than one protection order in place at the time of being on trial. <laughs> Now I was found not guilty, yep, and my record was expunged on July 12th of 2012, yes, but you kept saying I was crazy. <clears throat> now, for all the educated parents out there that think that it's uh, not a big deal, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to want my sons today, and I'm going to look at what you've been teaching them about sex, and if I, as a father, find anything offensive, yes. Stupid, yeah. Something where somebody said, well, this is what we, we have to do, yes. I don't really think my sons need to know about anal sex. <laughs> See, if I, as a father, wouldn't have anal sex, yeah, I don't think they need to know about it. And I mentioned that the idea of me putting my penis in a woman's rectum, yes, <laughs> would actually smell like shit. Pooch. And the last thing I want on my penis is the smell of shit. Yes, it does. Now, for those of you that didn't teach that, okay, um, you cannot tell me that if you put your penis in an, in an anus, yes, mm -hmm, and poop comes out of it every day, yes, <laughs> that your dick won't smell like shit. <laughs> God, fuck you for... Thank <laughs> you.